and with his new best friends, Diamond Lobby Reviews and Haas Gaming, Seriously Tech Stuff went on to beat all the Apex Legends. The end. Good night, little guy. This is Scott with Seriously Tech Stuff. And what I have here is the HyperX Pulsefire Haste 2 Mini Wireless. Small but mighty. Let's check out the box. I'm going to show you the stats on the back. No, that's not stats. And there you go. And there you go. Okay, anyway, let's open this up and see what we got. Boop. Oh, it's not in there. Of course, it's being used. Now, their packaging is I'm not a f not fond of. Um, you do get some stuff. Uh, you know, one thing they don't have in here that they used to before they were owned by HP. They used to have this little nice little card that's like, thank you for buying this product. We put our heart and soul in it. We really like it. Um, it's a manual. What am I doing? Uh, they don't. They don't do that. Anymore. HP doesn't care about you. But they still make some good products. And this is a cable. Do you guys really need to see the cable? It's like every other cable. I think there's only one mouse cable manufacturer out there, and they make it for everybody. Now these. This is really cool. This comes with, um, of course, some some tape. It's just a nice texture on it. I don't know why these aren't white. Because it's a white mouse. But And then extra feet. It's always good to have. Put that back in there. Boop. And then we'll put this up and get it out of the way. Because we want to look at the mouse. The mouse is right here. And... <laughs> Man, this thing is, it's a HyperX 2 Mini. It, it's, it, it's odd because it's the same exact mouse, just everything a little smaller. How small? Well, here's the original. I can lay them side by side. And there you go. They, they seem to follow the Razor's kind of shrinking of it. Um... Not like the Lamb Zoo that I did a review of earlier, uh, which it, it is smaller, but it's it's actually more just like a compression of it and not a smaller all the way around. Or at least that's what it seems like to me. This is just, this is the same exact mouse, smaller. See? I mean, it's just, it's small. So now, here's the big question though. If you like this mouse, are you gonna like this mouse? Well, I'm not exactly sure. I've been using this mouse nonstop uh, for a couple of days. I usually do this for a week, but it being this mouse, just smaller, uh, as far as like the buttons and the wheel and everything, I'm very familiar with it. I use this mouse quite often. So, um, but this, I, I'm kind of perplexed. Everything on it is top notch, just like the original. The wheel, the side buttons, the optical buttons, and of course the sensor is great, the feet are great, I mean everything's fantastic. You have this nice flat piece right there that, that you can plug pretty much any USB cable into, and then of course the dongle can go there if you want to, but yeah, I mean it's, it's fantastic, got a little LEDs right there. Uh, it also has Bluetooth and it also has 2.5, so you can use it on multiple devices. Um, I think that if you have smaller hands and mini mice appeal to you, then this would be a fantastic option. If this is comfortable to you 
and really nice to use. I'm not positive that this is a better option. The reason is, is that because of this shape shrinking to this shape, I'm not positive that it is the right shape for that. Because when I hold it, and this is just for me, when I hold it, there is a lot of real estate right here under my hand that is not connecting to the mouse. So what happens is um, I end up having to hold the mouse more with my fingers right here. And then I end up applying pressure right here. And I don't know why. It's just, it's just that's the way the mouse kind of fits in my hand. And I've tried to kind of push it forward, but it all always kind of seems to connect right there. And for me, that's kind of a problem. So after about an hour of using this, I start to get some hand pain right here. And it's really just from like, you know, having pressure on it in a certain way at a certain spot for too long. Uh, it doesn't do that with this mouse because if you do, if this mouse connects to my entire palm, I mean, it just connects to everything right here. So, yeah, not not a problem at all. But this one mm, doesn't. And I'm going to compare it to the Lamzu Atlantis Mini, which has a, a a different shape. You can see right here where it's got more connection right here. So when I use this mouse, this this whole part right here connects to my hand much like this just in a smaller shorter form factor I feel like this mouse is more comfortable now <laughs> you start you want to go a step further is this mouse better than this mouse since it, it's a totally different feel they're totally different shape I think this mouse is fantastic if you already have this mouse I'm not positive this is something that you want to go with Unless you just feel like this thing is just a monster, it is just giant, and you have smaller hands. I mean, this is the size of my hand. This is this. So, as functionality, this thing works fantastic. Now, comparatively, again, to the Attack Shark X3, totally different shape. Not totally, but this is comparison as far as size. the um you know the millimeters are similar but they just don't feel the same and this one too this one's a smaller mouse it also you know connects between here but i get a fair amount of mouse right in that area right there sorry i have eczema so it's it's more comfortable a little bit more control this feels like i'm kind of losing it after a little bit under my hand now let's throw another one in there this is the pulsar x2 mini same thing because of this wider shape in the front and this little bit raised area in the back it it has a different feel in your hand it makes a connection to your hand a lot more than this guy does so kind of the same way with the the lambzu atlantis not the mini the regular one where the connection of uh, my hand was more right here instead of in my palm, it caused some hand pain after a while. And this is just a me thing, but it might be a you thing. It might be something to consider. Now, if you just have smaller hands, I think this is a great option. I and mean, for the price, this was $79.99. It just came out. Uh, the mouse itself is fantastic. As far as the buttons, the functionality, everything with it. Um, yeah, it, it, it's it's technically great but with the caveat of if you have this mouse and it feels great and it feels good in your hand and you don't have any issues with it feeling too big I might skip on this and just enjoy your haste 2 in its original format so there you go as far as the software and everything it's just like this one um, I, I didn't even install it uh, you have your DPI button now. I'm getting, it, I think manufacturers and myself are getting away from, you know, just having this uh, absorbent amount of software and just having it, you know, on here. Like the Attack Shark. I did try to get the software for this. 
it my computer freaked out and thought it was um you know like it was going to call the fbi i don't know what what it was going on but does, you don't really need it you got everything you need right here so with that being said get this out of the way so we can look at it there you go there's there's the haste 2 wireless mini so little hands fantastic mouse normal to larger hands maybe a pass all right there you go thanks for watching and catch you on the next one